In our program, we've discussed the value of setting the right priorities. This is particularly important during our youth, when we're encouraged to give our best years to Jehovah. As our new song reminds us, we will never regret making that a priority. When you were younger, life seemed so simple. You did your best to do what's right. Giving answers and preaching the good news. You would pray each and every night. But as you got older, with this world trying to mold you, suddenly it is not so easy to be knocking on those doors. But as you get taller, smarter, trying to work harder, never let go of Jehovah. The best is still in store. You have the treasured place in Jehovah's house. He'll help you out. And you have so much to offer, so much to do. Jehovah sees your faith, knowing treasures you. And as you get wiser, find the ways you could apply the truth in your life. Feel the joy of sacrifice And as you get taller, smarter Trying to work harder Never let go of Jehovah The best is still in store You have a treasured place In Jehovah's house He'll help you out And you have so much to offer So much to do Is you. you have the treasured place in Jehovah's house. He'll help you out. And you have so much to offer, so much to do. Jehovah sees your faith, knowing treasures you. So yes, it's another music video. What did you think, folks? Were you dancing along to that? Finally, a music video with a chorus that I can relate to. The chorus lyrics say, You have a treasured place in Jehovah's house. He'll help you out. I can relate to that. I, I'm not currently a Jehovah's Witness. I'm not currently in Jehovah's house. But if I were in Jehovah's house, if I were a Jehovah's witness, I would appreciate being given help to get out. He, he's saying there, he'll help you out. Well, out is the direction I'd want to go. <laughs> I'd want to get through that door, back out to freedom of mind if I were a Jehovah's witness. So I relate to the song, I really do. Uh, as to the actual footage... Well, what have we seen? I just can't help but cringe and wince whenever I see depictions of baptisms in these music videos. We saw it, of course, in the video Run the Race, a baptism as part of the sequence. And we're seeing it again in this mock-up where they're going around various sets and various stages reenacting a Jehovah's Witness life or growing up in the Jehovah's Witness organization, I don't know, it just, for me, cheapens the baptism thing when you're showing it to what is essentially a dance song. You know, this music is <laughs> completely different from anything that would be acceptable when I were a Jehovah's Witness. Anything that was kind of contemporary or viewed as modern was frowned upon now they're going full-blown dance floor as far as i'm concerned this is a very dancey song and they're having a sequence where the girl gets baptized as part of the music video well isn't baptism supposed to be an incredibly sacred thing an incredibly profound meaningful moment in someone's life and doesn't it cheapen it 
when it's just being shown so casually in a fictitious music video context. Maybe it's just me. Maybe this is Jehovah's Witness Lloyd from the pre-JW broadcasting era speaking. Maybe it's just that the organization has changed so much that it's so unrecognizable. You also have the footage, which Tibor will overlay if he is gracious, showing or having a pop at higher education. So someone is receiving their diploma and then it turns out this is on TV and there's pressure being put on this young Jehovah's Witness lady to follow in the person's footsteps or pursue higher education herself. Instead, she decides to throw herself into the preaching work. And before we know it, there she is with her briefcase attending an international convention. What is it with this obsession with bashing on higher education? I really can't see how this does the organization any favors optics wise. It can't be a teaching where deep down Jehovah's Witnesses resonate with it or agree with it. Surely at some level, many Jehovah's Witnesses will be thinking it's wrong to coerce people in this way. If people want to go to college or university, just let them. Why do you have to be so overt in manipulating people against higher education to the point where you're showing it in music videos in this way? And as for the international convention thing, again, she rounds the corner. Hopefully, Tibor will show the footage again. Look at all of those fake smiles the waving. I mean, obviously all of this is staged, but I think there's a message here, like an inadvertent message woven into this music video that they really haven't thought through, which is look how easy it is to turn on the smiles. Smiles, hugs, affection, happiness, enthusiasm can all be turned on like a tap when you're in a cult. And this was, for me, the overriding message in this entire video. I, th I think they've done themselves a disservice by making it so intentionally fake to the point of doing all these different sets. What they've created, in a way, is a caricature of the fakeness of the organization itself, of how contrived everything is in the Jehovah's Witness bubble, where happiness and joy and love can just be synthetically created on the spot. Mm -hmm.